ഔസുബിലാഹിമിനുഷേത്താനിർജീം ബിസ്മില്ലാഹിറഹ്മാനിറഹീം അലഹമദില്ലാഹി റബ്ബിൽ ആലമീൻ വസ്സലാത്തു വസ്സലാമു അലാ ഖാത്തിമുൻ അൽ നബീൻ വ ബഅദ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഐ ആം ഗോയിങ് ടു ടെൽ യു അബൌട്ട് വൺ ഓഫ് ദി മേജർ സൈൻസ് ഓഫ് ദി ഡേ ഓഫ് റിസറക്ഷൻ ദിസ് ഈസ് മെൻഷൻ ഇൻ ദ ഹോളി ഖുർആൻ ഇൻ സൂറ അന്നമൽ വെർസ് നമ്പർ 82 I will recite the Arabic verse and then its English translation. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa iza waqa al-qawlu alayhim akhrajna lahum daabatan min al-ardi tukallimuhum anna al-nasa kanu bi ayatina la yuqinun. And its translation is And when the word of torment is fulfilled that means the decree of Allah when it is fulfilled against them we shall bring out for, for from the earth a beast for them to speak to them because mankind believe not with certainty with certainty in our ayat that is the verses of the holy quran this is the uh, arabic verse in its translation wa iza waqa al qawlu alayhim أخرجنا لهم دابة من الأرض تكلمهم أن الناس كانوا بآياتنا لا يوقنون That means when the time is near, when the day of judgment is near then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring out a beast from the earth and the quality of that beast will be that it will speak to people and it will say to them that the people they didn't believe in the verses of almighty god allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually the muslim umma has a very important duty and that is conveying the message of islam if a muslim is very good he or she does all the obligatory duties but does not do the duty of enjoining good and forbidding evil then when the evil doers the bad people are overtaken by the wrath of allah subhanahu wa taala these people although they 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 do their obligatory duties but they will be overtaken by the same wrath of allah that means in this world they will, will not be protected but in the hereafter of course they will be raised with their faith and their good deeds their good actions So this is very important for Muslims to enjoy good and to forbid evil to convey the message of Islam There is another verse in Surah Ali Imran the verse number 104 Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala said Wal takum minkum ummatun yad'una ila al-khair wa ya'muruna bil ma'ruf wa yanhawna 'anil munkar wa ulaika humul muflihun and let there be a party from amongst you who invite people to good good deeds goodness and enjoy right conduct and forbid indecency they are the ones who will prosper uh, similarly there are many verses in the holy quran and also many hadith about uh, conveying the message of islam and forbidding evil deeds and enjoying good deeds uh, now this sign the major sign which is that of the beast of the earth this beast of the earth will come out from the earth where it will come and what type of beast will it be we don't know the details about it but its main quality is that it will speak to people saying that people didn't believe allah swt says they didn't believe in my verses in our verses the verses of allah subhanahu wa taala uh, this is very important now for us to do the duty to to inform the people about islam and also to forbid evil and uh, as muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us that we must stop evil with our hand if we cannot do that we must stop it with our tongue if we cannot do that then we must do it with our heart and that is the weakest degree of faith with our heart means we must hate them by heart even if a person doesn't hate at the action of evil doer 
then then he is in danger that he will also get involved in that evil deed for example somebody is drinking alcohol and a muslim is a friend with that that muslim and doesn't stop him from drinking alcohol then he must uh, leave the place for him because when he will ha- hate him he will not sit with him but it if he uh, continues to sit with him and doesn't hate him by heart finally he will also get involved in drinking the alcohol may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us this is very important so i told you and now the uh, this beast the coming of the beast is like a, a witness like a proof against the muslim ummah that the muslim ummah the muslim nation has left the duty of conveying the message of islam forbidding evil and uh, the duty of enjoying good another point here i must tell you that uh, there are 10 major signs and i'm not going in detail of those 10 major signs but when i read on the internet most of the places uh, it 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 shows that the first uh, sign is uh, the rising of the sun from the east from the west that is a very very false statement the muslims must be alert they shouldn't let such changes happen because there are people who are trying to change the things they say that the first sign will be uh, the rising of the sun uh, from the west and they also have uh, forged a hadith they say that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that three signs when happen the uh, the door of uh, repentance uh, will be closed and they say the three signs are one is this rising of the sun from the west the second is the appearance of the jal and third is the appearance of this um, coming out of this beast from the earth now as far as the rising of the sun from the west is concerned that is correct when the sun rises from the west that will be almost the final sign i think after this there will be only one sign left and that will be the sign of fire which will gather people to the field of gathering uh, uh and when, because once this sign happens the rising of the sun from the west then if a person wants to become a believer the belief will not be accepted from him and her and if someone wants to do uh, toba repent from uh, his evil deeds this his repentance her and his repentance will not be accepted and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very kind very very merciful merciful allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives uh, the greatest time to people to enter the fold of islam and get protected from hell fire therefore remember that when dajjal appears even now we are facing the fitan of dajjal the the the, the tribulations from the jal we are facing there are many fitan coming now which are the uh, in hadith mentioned the and we understand that these are the fitan of the jal and when the jal will appear uh the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send down down uh, the prophet jesus isa alayhi salam and he will not come as a new prophet he is called prophet Isa alayhi salam because he was a prophet of Allah and he was a messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but when he comes down he will follow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he will follow Quran and he will establish the law of Quran that will be a very beautiful time first when Isa alayhi salam comes down he will fight against the jal and he will kill the jal and the muslim army which will help isa alayhi salam and will fight against the jal prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has informed us that that army will go to paradise muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has told us about two armies which will go to paradise one is this army who which will help isa alayhi salam the prophet jesus uh, and fight will fight against the jal the second army will fight for the finality of prophethood um, in 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 india 
So uh, that means when Isa alayhi salam comes down, you know, uh, Dajjal uh, will be there, but the, the, but the door of repentance will not be closed. All Christians will enter the fold of Islam at that time because they will see Isa alayhi salam and they will understand that uh, he is the prophet and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is a human being. He is not God. He is not the son of God. So the door of repentance and uh, to become believer that will not be closed at that time. As far as this um, uh, beast of the earth is concerned, I am not sure whether with its appearance the door of repentance will be closed or not. But the door of repentance will surely be closed when the sun rises from the west. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us right and uh, on the right on the on the on the sirat mustaqim and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to convey the message of Islam and also may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to uh, to to act upon Islam in full. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us strong Muslims. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد